Now again, based on the concept of slope, we have another question uh, without using Pythagoras theorem so that the points uh, 4, 4, 3, 5 and minus 1, 1 are the vertices of a right angle triangle. Okay, we need to show this. These uh, given three points are the vertices of a right angle triangle. And as I said earlier, to, to do this questions or to do any problem related to this uh, straight lines or this coordinate related, you know, you need to first uh, so that in the graph just try to understand try to uh, uh, analyze that in the graph and then try to solve it it will be very easy and it will be you know a, a, a kind of the perfect way to do it all right so uh, let me first draw a rough diagram here this is y axis this is x axis and uh, now let me see this is x axis this is y axis now 4 comma 4 so 4 comma 4 will be somewhere somewhere like this all right so this is 4 comma 4 and 3 comma 5 3 comma 5 it will be somewhere somewhere here all right let's say this is 3 comma 5 and another is minus 1 comma 1 minus 1 comma 1 and minus it is negative so it will be somewhere uh, somewhere here like this all right so let me see this is minus 1 comma 1 and now you need to show that these are actually the vertices of a right angle triangle so to become the vertices of a right angle triangle Okay, all right. Uh, we need to show any one angle, you know, uh, any one angle uh, of this at least 90 degree. You need to show this 90 degree. If we become able to show 90 degree, then we can easily say that this is a, a right angle triangle. So uh, now see here we have we have uh, three lines. Okay, let me give the name to each and every. Uh, let's say this is A, this is B, this is C. So we have now A B. All right, and another we have BC, and another we has AC. So we need to solve this with the help of the slope. What what we had learned that uh, if the two lines are perpendicular, then that time the product of their slope is always minus one. This is the condition of perpendicular, right? This is condition for perpendicular. Condition for perpendicular. All right. So this from this uh, trick we are going to solve this. So first we are going to find the slope of all, uh, all the lines all right so here slope of slope of ab let me say uh, m1 okay slope of ab slope of ab is actually y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 that is difference of x coordinate uh, difference of y coordinate over difference of x coordinate so difference of y coordinate 5 minus 1 all right 5 minus 1 and difference of x coordinate 3 minus minus 1 so it will be 3 minus minus 1 it will be plus so it will be 5 minus 1 that is 4 and 3 4 so it's gonna be 1 all right uh, now slope of slope of now BC let's find out slope of BC m2 all right so slope of BC again y2 minus 1 over x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 uh, difference of y coordinate difference of x coordinate so 5 minus 4 all right it will be 5 minus 4 and difference of x coordinate that is 3 minus 4 3 minus 4 so it's going to be 1 and divide by minus 1 so it will be minus 1 all right and now one more we need to find out uh, slope of uh, AC all right slope of AC uh, let's say this is m3 mm -hmm. now see again difference of uh, x y coordinate 4 minus 1 all right 4 minus 1 difference of x coordinate 4 minus minus 1 so it will be 4 minus minus 1 so it's going to be 3 over uh, 5 okay now see we have m1 uh, m2 m3 if we are getting either m1 times m2 equals to minus 1 or m2 times m3 equals to minus 1 or or m1 times m3 equals to minus 1 then in any case we are going to have a perpendicularity we need to satisfy at least any one because this may be 90 degree this may be 90 degree this may be 90 degree we don't know which is exactly the 90 degree because this is a rough diagram all right we're not sure which one is 90 degree this one is 90 degree it is looking from the figure but we need to prove it all right or maybe this one 90 degree maybe this one 90 degree if this is 90 degree then uh, m1 and m2 should be i mean the slope of this line and, and slope of this line if we do product then we should get minus one and if if this is 90 degree then the slope of this line uh, multiply slope of this line should be minus one 
and if this is 90 degree then the slope of this line multiply slope of this line should be minus 1 so whichever is going to satisfy we are we are happy with that all right uh, now m1 how much we have got m1 that's 1 all right and what is m2 m2 we have got minus 1 is equal with minus 1 and hey we got it you know minus 1 is equal to minus 1 we got at the first it means this is 90 degree so so we can say since uh, uh, since direct we don't write slope of that uh, directly I'm going to write since m1 times m2 equals to minus 1 therefore uh, therefore AB AB is perpendicular to BC and hence since AB is uh, therefore AB is uh, perpendicular to BC therefore triangle ABC is a uh, right angled triangle right angle triangle all right now see since m1 times m2 since uh, slope of this ab and bc product of the slope of ab and bc is minus 1 so it means ab is perpendicular to bc or you can say bc is perpendicular to ab and since this is perpendicular it means this is 90 degree i can say that this triangle is a right angle triangle and we don't use here pythagorean theorem and still we prove that the given the given vertices is the vertices of the right angle triangle